Guys, we're gonna we're gonna be done right now, but but I'm just gonna do a beginning of a drill. Um, just a drill. It actually doesn't have to do specifically with the baseball choke, but uh, we can use it for a lot of attacks. Here, right? It, it rise on his back. All I want you guys to do is, is this arm right here. We've been doing this one a lot. I go knee on belly, cross knee, swipe, step on the hand, into staple. I let his arm out, he brings his elbow in, okay? I'm gonna bring my knee right here towards his chest, cross knee, swipe, step on his hand, staple. <laughs> A windshield wiper, look, stapling. Boom, 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 boom. So you guys can move it whenever you like, okay? I let him get his arm out, okay? I was here, he's gonna frame me anyway. Knee on belly, cross knee, swipe, he's trying to turn. Right here, he tries to get an underhook. I can place my hand here. Okay, if I want, I can hit a side switch anytime I want. I've got my base right now. I am not touching the floor with anything but my right hand. My right hand is the only thing touching the mat. If he bridges towards me or moves me, I don't fall that way. And I can always come around the head and come around here. Now I'm on this side, look. See how I did that? And now I'm controlling. I step on his hand or his wrist, more specifically, probably his wrist. Don't get towards the fingers, you'll lose it. You wanna be about right here. And then now I can put weight, he's trying to move, see that? And I can sleep. Even if he gets under hooks, it's okay. We get crosses, we can put this guy back on his back, we can windshield wipe our feet, and go into whatever choke or things that we want to do. Far side arm bars, okay? We can do anything we want, but it's about learning to take a guy here and either staple here, or I do the opposite, and you know, when I'm here, I'll put this knee up. Sometimes I'm switching towards doorstop, so I'm not in this position, I switch to doorstop, and a guy's trying to turn on his side, See what I just did? So, he may get an underhook already. And I'm in the doorstop position. My knee comes up, goes towards his chest, and then turn my hip. See, my hip is turned. I may be threatening now. Okay, he may be worried about mount, but really, all I wanted was that arm stapled. Once you guys get that arm stapled, Boom, we'll windshield wiper you, and then we're in great position to go for a finish, okay? Do that drill and just cross knee, staple that arm, okay? One, two, three. Two, three. Just, and cross, yeah. See the balance, the balance is good. Try to move around, you can't go anywhere. You're just like, whatever. And now work on stapling that arm. Get it back to a normal, natural staple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that too. You can do what you just did, that's fine. And yeah, and the whole point is maybe you're gonna go north south, but maybe you just staple them and start choking them. You know where you form? And you go Americana. Yeah, and then you get Americana because it's gonna be really hard for him to fight you when that arm's down. You know? Now because you know your Americanas are already strong because of your strong, but now they're gonna be super yeah. strong. Yeah. Yeah. Let him yeah, let him, baseball choke, it's a little easier. He only has one hand. His other arm can't do anything. Here, here. That's a good one, real simple. But if he's strong, say he, uh, let it out. He's strong, right? He's yeah. like strong. Yeah. So we're gonna go knee on belly, pulse right hand on the hip. Yeah, right hand on the hip. Uh, yeah, heel of the palm, like put it right on his hip. Yeah. And now, now posture, like posture up a little bit. And you can grab his head. Yeah. No, no, shallow grip, like a collar tie. Yeah, like this. Now, while he's thinking this, and he's gonna be shrimping. Now, yeah, you see that? Now, yeah. And then this, you feel that control. Stiff, real strong. And now you can step on his hand. This takes a little bit of flexibility, but you can do it. And now just work your legs. Work those windshield wipers. There you go. Nice. And now you have a good control. Get him tired here. Yeah, get him tired. 
get him. Remember, while you're doing this, he's not escaping. Yeah. yeah. Because first, he's concerned about this. Yeah. If you even touch that arm, he's gonna freak out. Yeah. He's gonna be like, dang. He's giving me all all his net, all his head. Yeah. yeah. He's giving. You, you might look at that like a kimura, yeah. and you're like attacking it, and he straight like tries to find a place to hide it, like under it, and then now you go north south jump. You see that? And you put things in combination. That's a good simple one. If you can do it, if you can do that too. If you can do it, that's a simple one, right? But it's probably going to be a little harder to do that one. Like try to do it now with him awake, with a pulse. Okay. So, so now it, it, again, here's, here's a good one. You're going to do in this arm position, in this arm configuration. He's probably going to try to frame your neck. Just go to knee on belly and remember hand on the hip. Good. Now cross it. Yeah. There. So that's a good time to hit it. You know why? Because go back a step. When you go to knee on belly, a lot of guys just grab his neck. You're so kind to your training partner. You're too <laughs> kind. Heal the palm here. Grab his head. No, grab it. Shallow it up. Posture. You see, <laughs> knee on belly. What he's going to do, because he doesn't like this, he's going to probably do something like this. He's going to turn sideways. Stay. I know you're so nice. Strong. Okay. Turn strong. Heal the palm. No, heal the palm. There we go. Now, when he turns sideways, cross knee swipe his arm. You see? He's going to turn this way. And that's what actually makes it easy. Sir. Okay? And again, if he turned so much that we couldn't make the staple, you could always side switch him. This slows him down. If he wants to get on his side, look at how hard it is to get on your side. See that? And now anytime you want it, if he bumped you this way, just step around his head. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We gotta work to make that more smooth, but that's correct. Okay. Now in door stop, let's go to door stop, switch right elbow to the far side, left hand to the near side, left hand to the near side. Good. Now just kind of post your hands on the mat, raise up, and then right knee come around his arm. No, no, no. His elbow's already in, yes. There you, you go. See that? I see, yeah. And now step on his hand and work for the staples. Now you're looking to staple. And now that you staple, you're now ready to go after the far arm with some type of an attack. If he's hiding, we choke him with our elbow. Yeah, baseball choke. Yep. Yeah, baseball choke. Or, that's good. Or we go for just a simple, uh, like use your forearm to cut, cut his neck. He's going to rescue, and now you go Americana, you gave a little space, you didn't see it, there you go. And now, the Americana is three times as effective. I, that, that stat has been proven by studies that were done by someone in the media. <laughs> three times as effective Americana's when you have that other arm stapled. It could be four times, rumor has it. <laughs> that, 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 that was CNN. Dude, it depends on what side of the political scale you're on. It could be Fox or OAN or New Newsmax. But either way, the media has been reporting this. But it's not on Twitter because Twitter doesn't like it. 